Yeah, I'm wearing a hat. Can we get over it already? Does hair fall out? Did he dye it blue? No, I just wore a hat today. It's okay. Chris Jericho versus Matt Seidel. Is there a bowling ball <laughs> going by? <laughs> he moved his mic. This next segment, it was artwork. It was cinema. It may have been... A, it I, was? It was like 40 seconds, and maybe my favorite 40 seconds of AEW TV. So what? Sure. This was cinema in okay. the best 40 seconds? You gotta, you gotta I, I watched this, on this over and over and over and over. Any other wrestling company in the world would have... Explain what the fuck's going on. What's up with these new t-shirts? The Blackpool Combat Clubhouse. They, they got new animal-themed t-shirts. So Brian Danielson, there is a squirrel with an eye patch. Claudio, this is... A fucking squirrel is the animal they chose for violent by nature? <laughs> Have you ever been attacked by a squirrel? Have you ever been attacked by a fucking bear? These are interesting. <laughs> That's People will buy them. Yes. He asked if uh, they had already played the, uh, what is it, the rocket man there? The na -na 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 -na. <laughs> he was fantastic. Do you know whose idea it was to get rid of the rankings? Tony's. Punk? I was told it was CM Punk. Okay. He talked hmm. Tony into getting rid of the rankings. Now, Phil and I have not seen eye to eye, apparently, on some things. The heck you say. But this fella is 100% right. <laughs> Kudos to CM Punk. That was the right call. Perhaps he can come back, because I have no idea why we are going back to rankings. Just keep it simple. Winners get title shots. That's it. If some shithead on Twitter doesn't like it, they can fuck off. If you were in the middle of a human centipede, who would you like in front oh, of you, you and who behind? You're fired. I'm <laughs> sick of centipeding you. What? Sitting you right in the middle of this group carrying your ass. Does Craig's wife still hate Brian? Oh, stop. Uh, we were listening to the best of, and uh, you accused me of being misogynist, and it really upset what? her. Best of Brian and Vinny. Whose fault is this? Who puts that thing together? Blame them. What was the last movie you saw in a movie theater, and did you like it? I've been thinking about it all evening. I can't remember. I took Nikki. Why don't you message her in the group chat while we uh, keep going here? I don't want to. The family holiday. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, my God. Titanic? What? No. That's what she says. She goes, we went to Titanic. Oh, boy. Also, Jim Carrey Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> they put a woman, uh, Indian woman on a log and jumped on her for her to have a birth. What in the what? hell is going on? <laughs> what? That's not how you do it. Out comes Undertaker with Bong Bong. Bong Bong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Undertaker's, excuse me. The Undertaker's <laughs> mascot. Yeah. Bong Just... Bong came out. <laughs> These glasses are bad. Just a minute, I have to change glasses. Let's all change something. <laughs> I need to change so many things. These are new ones, too, but I can't see with them. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> He's gonna change the, the red, the red hat pin. He had to get a strike. There was a bowling tournament. You gave away a picnic table of all the prizes. A picnic table? Didn't you say like the President Kennedy was shot and killed, and you guys went bowling? <laughs> yeah. No, while they were bowling. Actually, I was in the bathroom and I heard it. Not behind the grassy knoll? That's funny. You were in the head while he got shot in the... Oh, oh Craig, God, please. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is terrible today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Corn buckle. Huh? What was it? <laughs> Brian. I, what? What was that? <laughs> Come on, Brian, what's going on? Keep, keep going. On a lonely, lonesome highway. That's all I have for today. Excellent <laughs> job, Granny. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I had a note down here for some stuff I was going to answer. Hello? <laughs> yes, he's all right over there. Are you sick? I'm afraid so. Thank God we're in this small, confined room together. Well, you got me there. It opens with a Samoa Joe promo. He explains, Superstars will battle for opportunity 
as championship gold, but also the worst night of your life because he will beat you unmerciful, at which point Hook interrupts. You sound horrible. Cool. I've never heard such a a, a nasally and high-pitched Samoa Joe impression in my life. Excellent. What a coincidence. Look what I got here. So Samoa Joe said in his promo, right? Yeah. What the fuck do I have this in my room for? You tell me. That was like a show from 2005. I would have a gold boat. I would have a boat made out of gold. I'm not going to say it's because of us, because I don't think it is. But we had a lot of, of suggestions and criticism, et cetera, regarding AEW Dynamite. And this week's show, they made a lot of changes for the better. They advertised matches for the future. And another improvement is they followed up on Hook. Hook did not do the job last week and drop off the face of the earth. I did uh, I did find a lot of improvements here on this show for the better. They showed up, and they've got their mustaches. Okay, I get it. They're spoofing Vince because he had that stupid mustache. Their gimmick here is that they're EVPs. They're running the show, and they're, they're going to spoof Vince because they got these mustaches. That's what I thought. And I don't know if that's why they're doing the mustaches, but I can tell you one thing. After today... I'd shave those mustaches. Yeah. That's what I'd do. Renee does an interview with Deanna Parazzo and Tony Storm and her crew. They're all on stage together, but the left half of the screen is in black and white, and the right side is in color. Uh, Tony says she does not have much time. She has a new room massage booked for 11. And boy, I bet when they wrote that line, that would be the creepiest thing of the week. I have had many friends, all of them less talented than me. I will twist your lips so hard, you will need an epidural. She's talking about her vagina, apparently. Uh, I suppose so, yes. Thunder Rosa versus Red Velvet. This match was bad. I, well, I'm afraid it was. Adam Copeland versus Minoru Suzuki is a real wrestling match I am about to watch. No, it's Edge. We were watching Edge and Minoru Suzuki in 2024. Adam Copeland is having the coolest midlife crisis ever. He's not blowing his money on cars or cheating on his wife. He's just going out and having fun, brutal wrestling matches because he wants to. That's awesome. Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin are the best tag team in all of WWE. They were pretty great here. I will fight you, okay? Name me a better team than Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin. William Regal returns to NXT TV for the first time in forever. Calls Ava the youngest general manager in WWE history. You know, people were talking because Rock got a seat on the board of directors. And the next day, his daughter is promoted to general manager of NXT. And they were talking about, well, you know, it's obvious what that is. I mean, she cannot talk. And I thought, you know, what's funny is if you watch this segment, this is the best talking she's ever done. This is this is the pinnacle right here in this segment. So if you don't think she's good, man, I don't know what to tell you. You need to go back and watch some of the other stuff. Mr. Stone took him to his old college to train for the Heritage Cup. Central Florida. Yep. Where he's a star football player. And he brings his shoot kids. These kids are fucking awesome. And Von Wagner's doing sprints. He's tackling bags with Noam Dar's face on him. Yes. I loved this segment. Yes. Loved it. Yes. And Thea is all nervous and wacky, but Riley wants a second alone. And Thea freaks out. JC tells her to keep it cool like a grown-ass woman. Thea goes, I am a grown-ass woman. That'll be a drop. Ava hosts the contract signing in the main event segment here. She begins by saying, and I'm not making this up, with the Royal Rumble on Saturday and Vengeance Day on February 4th, all eyes are on NXT right now. (laughs) No, they're not. They just aren't. I thought Roxanne was great. Lyra was shockingly good. Ava sucked rocks. (laughs) 